Hi everyone, I'm here with David Wright. David is at our Fitness for 10 studio in Carson City. Thanks for being here, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, so David is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10. And, uh, you know, we, we t we're going to talk about how heavy do you have to lift? And, you know, I really want to kind of build in, you know, age and goals. And so it, it does matter. And so the title is, do you have to lift heavy? Well, the obvious answer is no, but why don't you give us um, your first thoughts on that? And then I'll go, David, but go, go ahead and give us your first thoughts on how you respond to your clients when they're asking you a, a question like this. Yeah. So Steve, I get that question fairly often when clients are new or doing, you know, the free intro session that they get here with their membership. Um, you know, that's, that's a question that I get people, you know, are intimidated by the fact that they, you know, watch videos on YouTube and other places and think they have to lift all these heavy weights. And so they're not really sure that this is the right place for them. Um, so when, when I talk to my clients about that, my, my guidance for them is more looking at what their skill level and obviously their strength currently, what that level is, and really explaining to them it's not necessarily uh, for them the weight that they're lifting for every rep um, at this point, especially somebody who's new in the gym or hasn't been in the gym in a long while. You know, we're not going to go stick them under, you know, 225 pounds on the uh, bench press. Now, if somebody is, you know, doing strength training, strongman, all those types of specialty type of areas, and we're training them for that, different story um, entirely. But someone who's coming into the gym, majority of my clients, um, you know, we'll get to the point where we can lift heavy, sure. Um, but for now, we want to build, gradually build that muscle without, of course, as much um, likelihood of you know, injury or things like that. So we start out, you know, I explained to them, we can do a lighter weight, we can do more reps, because overall, look at how much weight you're lifting total. And, you know, we'll go from there. So kind of sets people's minds at ease when they know they don't have to come in and and, you know, lift tons and tons of weight in order to gain muscle because it's very intimidating and, you know, kind of a roadblock for some people. Okay. So here's, here's a general rule that, um, I've experienced and been taught by, uh, my coaches, um, the people that have coached me, strength coaches and so on from, um, college on. And, there's a lot of factors here. First, your age. Now, I'll say that, let me just give first a general rule. The heavier you lift, so heavy weight is more correlated to strength. So if you lift heavier and you take more rest in between sets where you're letting your muscles recover, you're going to build strength in general more that way. Now, you also hear things like, hey, if you want to build definition, do lots of reps. Well, reps have nothing to do with definition. Uh, lifting weights really doesn't have anything to do with definition. Diet does. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get yoked, you want to get shredded, you're going to have to emphasize your diet. But now you can also get stronger if you're going to failure and maybe you're going to failure at rep number uh, 12, 13 or 14, or maybe rep number 20, if you're going to failure, you're going to get stronger. Now, let's say your goal is you want to build your body. You want to build muscle. You probably don't want to be doing two repetitions waiting for five minutes and doing another two repetitions. That's what power lifters do. Power lifters care about how strong they are. So that's more of a strength strategy. Now, if, if you're a beginner lifter, I mean, that's probably the last thing you want to do is one or two or three reps and focus on your strength. You want to focus on building your body first. So, mm -hmm that one, two, three reps with a five minute rest, that is not going to be as good of a strategy to put muscle on. That's not going to be 
as good of a strategy to build your biceps or build your triceps. I mean, it would just basically be if your goal is to build your arms, don't you think, you know, two reps on your arms would be kind of a waste of time? Yeah, absolutely. So what happens, what are, what are kind of the responses that you get from your clients when you explain this? Do they get it or, and then what are most of their goals? How does this work when you explain this uh, after they ask this question? Yeah, so a lot of times when I give them that response of, you know, basically looking at, you know, where their skill level is and all of that, and no, we don't have to go and lift you know, the heaviest, like that power lifter guy over there type of stuff. Um, they're, they're quite relieved usually. And, and because there's a myth, you know, kind of going around when people watch different videos, influencers, different things like that, they have totally different ideas and what, what they actually need. So they're usually pretty relieved in terms of, oh, okay, so I don't have to lift, um, you know, super heavy weights. And I've explained to them, you know, we want to build strength. So when we first start working out together, we're certainly going to see where your strength is and everybody's going to be individual there. We're going to build from there. So we're not going to stay at, you know, five pound dumbbells, for instance, for somebody who maybe has some limited strength or is just starting weightlifting for certain exercises. Maybe that's a great starting point for them. We're not going to stay there. The whole point is to progress from there to heavier weights. But I explain that to them in a way that it's we're going to build your strength gradually. So that way you do it correctly. You do it, you know, safely, but also you'll be able to see those results. And so, you know, they're much more comfortable with knowing that we're going to keep track of that progress and we're going to, we're going to get them more strength, but they're not going to have to, you know, go start at that heavy weight. And so it's kind of a misconception uh, that they get, but it, once it's wiped away, it, they're a lot more positive about, you know, weightlifting in general. You know, a lot of people think if I go lift heavy weights, um, you know, I'm going to go and, you know, look like David and, you know, or these bodybuilder people. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And I have to explain to them, that's not what the, if that's what your goal is, then great. We, I can help get you there. You know, personal trainers here can help get you there, but that's not your goal. Generally speaking, most people's goal is not that. So based on what their goal is, this is the direction we're going to go. And this is what it's going to look like for you. Um, and there's so much more, um, understanding of that because again they have that knowledge now of what what kind of that roadmap looks like to get them to where they need to be and they're they're not just kind of spinning out of control uh in terms of whatever that expectation they may have prior to coming and and sitting down with personal trainer yeah and your goals matter you know i almost wanted to laugh when you're talking about you you have people come in and i've had this since you know i was a personal trainer way back i don't know 75 years ago uh, well, maybe not quite that long, but I would have women say, I don't want to bulk up. I don't want to bulk up. Yeah. And it almost makes you want to laugh and you say, uh, yeah, listen, young lady, you're not going to have to worry about bulking up unless you're some type of a freak. You know, there are some women that are just freaks and just going to bulk up, but that's one in a thousand. You know, um, even men aren't just going to bulk up and get gigantic like some bodybuilder. You know, you're, uh, there's a lot of other factors uh, in that. And the, the last thing I would say is um, how much time to rest, you know, how much you rest matters. How much time do you have in the gym? So if you're not taking any rest in between, you know, maybe 10 seconds, that might deter your growth because you're not letting your muscles recover enough to get enough reps in on your next set. So uh, sometimes um, people will rest 30 seconds. That would be a, kind of a, a short rest, don't you think, David? Yeah, Steve, depending on the exercise, because I've had that question quite a bit too. Well, how long should I rest, especially when a client's going to come in on their own without the trainer and do their own, uh, you know, training day for themselves, how much should I rest in between? And normally, depending on what they're doing and, you know, again, their fitness levels, different things like that, I normally say about 45 to 60 seconds, sometimes 60 being the best, just because we want to make sure we get that muscle recovery, we get that ATP back where it needs to be and built up more. So then when we go through those reps and, you know, different weights and all those different things, we have that energy there. We have what we need to really get through that set nice and clear. 
versus kind of rushing through, you know, 10 seconds, even 30 seconds sometimes, um, you know, you just don't have that same strength because you haven't allowed yourself to recover fully yet. Now, if we're going into, you know, powerlifting, super heavy stuff, I mean, there's five minutes sometimes in between and that kind of stuff. But for a general client, you know, at least about a 60 second turnaround time before they do their next set. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times I'll go shorter if I'm doing a super set. But let's say I'm doing a superset. Let's say I'm doing my triceps and my biceps. While I'm working my triceps, my biceps are resting. When I'm working my biceps, my triceps are resting. And also when I'm doing one arm at a time and or one leg at a time, you know, I'm doing something with this arm, I'll go right to the other arm and then right back to the other one. Because while this arm is working, this one is resting. This arm is mm -hmm. working, this one is resting. So there's lots of little tricks that you can put into your workout to make it go quicker, make it more efficient, and still get uh, the big picture that you're trying to get. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so David, um, if anyone wants to follow you, see what you're doing with uh, your upcoming shows and so on, or just some of the tips that you do online, how do they follow you on social media? Yeah, so I have two Instagram pages. Like you mentioned, I'm gonna be competing here in a few months. And so my personal Instagram showing kind of my progress, my show updates, things like that uh, on Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. And then for my personal training, training tips, boot camp, things like that is at Wright Fitness Training uh, on Instagram. So you could follow both. Yeah, and that's great. You can go see how the boot camps look and all that. So, David, thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Steve.